Header and Pablo Vasquez, and this is Simplify for Render and Viewport. So up until now, in Blender 274, we have this option here uh, called Simplify under the Scene Properties that will let us limit the amount of subdivisions uh, globally in the scene. So the viewport will draw much faster. And for example, if you're animating, you want a real-time uh, playback, this will be an easy way to achieve it without having to go and individually change the subdivisions of each one of the models here. But uh, it's a bit tedious because if you wanted to render with all the levels of subdivisions, you have to disable it, render, and then go back and even enable it again. And this also is very handy because you can limit the amount of particles uh, that show here in the viewport. I prepared this uh, simple scene that has high levels of subdivision and some hair particles, pretty simple. Um, so it was a bit tedious to go enable and disable all the time. I even wrote a little add-on in Amaranth for, uh, for unsimplifying during render. But now, thanks to Sergey, we have this option, uh, he's separate this uh, simplification to viewport and render. So in Blender 275, now we have this, um, this is the same panel, and it's pretty similar, it just says viewport and render and has individual settings for each one. So for example, if in the, in the viewport we want to have a fast display, we have, we can limit the particles to zero, subdivision to zero, and then when we render, it will render uh, everything. So now we should see the actual, yes, we see the hair and we see nice subdivided uh, meshes. As you can see in the background, there is no geometry, but in the render there is because it has some displacement. And if you are into that, you can also do the opposite. So you can just remove this and then uh, it looks nice detail in the viewport, but it looks rather simple in the render and this is huge uh, time saver so thanks a lot Sergey. Uh, remember this is only on the development right now so if you want to get it go to blender.org slash download and then daily builds or go to the build bot uh, builder.blender.org and thanks a lot Sergey. thanks everybody that review the patches and that's it